Today, I have a free gift for everyone. I'm always talking about how a great introduction to animation is to learn by doing a ball bounce. It teaches us about spacing, timing, squash and stretch, and a great introduction to animation curves in the graph editor. So I've built a free, easy to use rig for everyone. It comes with multiple balls, so let's have a look over the rig now and stick around till the end to find out how and where to get it. So let's take a look over this rig and all the controls and then I'll show you how you can change the balls, change it to different geometry, and then how you can actually change the materials. So first of all, we have our main root controller. This is the one that you position it in your scene wherever you want and you can also scale this up. It's completely scalable. Okay, then we have our main transform controller, which is this one here, the yellow one. If I select this, we can now move this. This is what we would use to sort of bounce our, our, our ball along, transform it and animate it into position. And then we have this control here, this sort of semicircle um, arrow, and this is our rotator. So if I hit the E key to rotate, you can see we can rotate the ball wherever we want. And then we are onto our squash and stretch controllers. We have one at the top and one at the bottom. Now if I select this and hit the W for the move key, we can move it around. And what you'll notice is that as I stretch it up, it elongates, and as I stretch it down, as I squash it down, sorry, it squashes. And we've got one on both sides because you need to be able to do it from both sides. Now, I want to show you this, this little red disc here. It's right here. What this does is this rotates the angle of the squash and stretch. It does not rotate the ball. So if I hit the E key to rotate, you can see it's now changing the direction of the squash and stretch, but the ball is still um, is still in the same position, still in the same rotation. So this is useful for when you want to angle the ball and it comes down, it bounces, and then we change the angle and it bounces out this way somewhere different. Okay, so that's the basic controls. And now let's have a little look how we can swap the balls out. So if I select this control here, this sort of sphere here, go up to this drop down menu at the top, we can change this for different balls. I've, I've included a basketball, um, and then there's a soccer ball here and I will be adding more and I, you know you can give your opinion on this as well One might add a golf ball for instance. We've got some other famous type balls in there um, We go down. We've got a tennis ball so far and Lastly we have a, uh, a volleyball so um, you know, it, it's a very versatile rig, it's easy to use, and, and that's it, that's all there is to it. So now I'm gonna move on and show you how you can actually change the materials and the colors of everything. So to get to all the materials, you need to open up your hypershade. So if you go up to the top here, you've got this little button here, it looks like a little ball, just click on that, and it'll open your hypershade window. Now I'm going to dock it over to the left here, just so that we can try and fit everything on the screen for you. So let's move this over, um, and then, Let's just squash this window up a little bit, just so we can try and see everything for this tutorial. So you've got all your materials up the top here. So to edit any of them, you can sort of right click over and you see the name. It says um, tennis, yellow, um, and then you've got your volleyball ones and everything as well. So if you right click and go graph network, it will show that material, okay? But a better way of doing this is you, if you want to select your geometry and then hit this little button here, it will actually open up all materials that are applied to this geometry. So you've got your volleyball yellow, your blue, and your white. So to change the materials, it's really simple from here. You don't need to mess with all the bump maps and the reflection maps and everything. All you need to do is just click on it and open up the color and just simply change it. So if we just double click one of these and say change it to a pink, you can see it change live. And then there's the blue, so we can say, okay, let's um, click this. And you can either use the wheel, you can drag this around to get different colors. Um, there, so you see how easy it is to change the, the, the colors of, of, of the ball. So let's have a little look now at the uh, beach ball one. So I'm gonna click this, I'm going to change it to the beach ball. And with this one, let's click it here and let's do the same as we did before, this little button to open up everything. Now with this one, there's a ramp node applied um, to get the colors. So if you see this, if I click on this, you can see the different various colors that make this up. Now you can click on any of these. So you can say, click the red, you click this little dot, it will highlight the color here, click it, and then just change the color to anything you want. And there you go, it changes live for you. So let's say change the green one, to um, let's say, let's just drag the wheel, something like this. And then you can also go in and say, instead of a vertical ramp, you can have a horizontal ramp and it will look more like a beach ball. And you see this, this the spacing isn't great here, but then you can edit this as well. So this is just a, you know, a brief introduction how you use ramps. What you do is you drag these over and you can see it changing live. 
So let's just space these out a bit more. And there you go, quite easy. And if you want to add another color in, just simply click, click the wheel, uh, the, the bar, sorry, click this here, and then just add another color. And there you go, we've added another one in, it's a different shade of red, and then you can space these out. And there you go, just have a little play with it. And then, so let's, ha let's have a look at one more. So let's just select the, the ball chooser icon, go down to say, let, let's, let's try soccer ball, shall we? So then again, click the ball, click the button, and you'll get all your colors up. There you go, there's your black and your white. So say if you didn't want a black and white uh, football, soccer ball, uh, if you're in the States, just click the color, and let's go to um, color and change it to a different color. And there you go. That's how easy it is to change the colors. So just have fun with that. And when I add more balls as we go along and improve the rig, you'll be able to again get in and um, and play with all the materials. So there you go, an easy to use, versatile, free rig for everyone. So how do I get it? I'll leave a link down in the description, but go over to animatorartistlife.com, put in your name, put in your email, and you'll be sent a link to download it. So why have I done it like this? Because I want to continue to improve the rig, make adjustments, and maybe even add more balls as we go. And you'll be notified every time. Plus, I might want to add more freebies in the future. If you want to learn how to do your first simple ball bounce animation with this rig, then follow me in the tutorial here. And then once you've accomplished that, follow me in the next one with the ball bouncing along more complicated animation here. And if you've enjoyed this, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you there.